Hello YouTube, Peter 1176. I'm gonna do a quick uh, garden update here. I'm just gonna show you these tomatoes. I've been miracle growing. <laughs> Man, they're tall. Uh, they're real bushy this year. But I am getting some tomatoes that's ripening. Finally. Um, here's some peppers. I picked a few peppers off here the other night. I got probably a couple handfuls of banana peppers. Here's the corn, it's, it's grown, I'd say probably about a foot since last week. The last garden update I had was last Friday, which was one week from today. It's doing pretty good, it had some wind damage. I done another video on some wind damage, that was the following day from the garden update, of Saturday. And uh, it knocked it down, but it's kind of, like I said, the sun brought it back out. It looks pretty good. Hopefully it'll continue to grow. Here's a side view of these tomatoes. Uh, right here's one that's it's good, pretty good size and it's starting to ripen. Macy's wanting a tomato, she says. Don't pick them yet, baby. They're not ready. Um, they're doing pretty good. My cucumbers, I'm walking down there right now. They're not doing real good. My dad, his is doing exceptionally well. I mean, they're, he's getting like five gallons a day off of them. Uh, I'm not, I'm getting probably five or six a day. Uh, my melons, my cantaloupes are doing real good. I'll probably be picking some cantaloupes in a day or two. That one I checked it, it's not ready yet. Um, the way I check them is there is a little sprout, a little curly Q sprout on the stem right there. When that dries up, I pick them and they're ready to eat. Same thing with watermelons. They've got one of those also. Speaking of watermelons, they're doing a little bit better. They're uh, actually, I've actually got a few little melons. There's one. I've got, I think I've counted four so far. And the plants, you know, there's a lot of weeds in here. But, you know, the melons are doing pretty good. I've been miracle growing them every week. They're growing out there some more melons. There's one. And there's one. And my pumpkins. I looked the other day on my garden update and I couldn't find the pumpkin. Right there it is. They're kind of small. These are just, I grow these just for my little girl and my nieces. I've got three nieces. And uh, here's another. Yeah, out of focus. There's one. They're doing pretty good uh, for them to have been underwater and all these vines twisted over top of each other. They're doing real good. I think there's about five of these I found. And there's blooms everywhere. Uh, I've still not messed with my potatoes. I was getting ready to go outside and fire the weed eater up the other day and cut them off. And I was watching a, a gardening show on TV and they were talking about tomatoes just got stung with something and uh, her potatoes not tomatoes I'm sorry and they said until the vines have dried up if you you can dig them but they will not keep but you know there's a lot of weeds in here but there's still some vines I've went over them uh, last year we went on vacation the second week of August and I dug them a week of August. And they kept, but you know, I really don't want to take that kind of a chance. Which just pretty well looks like a weed patch. So I'm gonna give it about another week and then I'm digging them. We're not going on vacation until the third week of August this year, so. Right, right, either when I leave, get back or before I leave. Oh, thank you. 
I've got some tomatoes. Them be some awful fried green, awful small fried green tomatoes, sissy. Mm -hmm. And I've also got some beans. I showed you these in the garden that day. Come out here to pick them the other day, and they just they just wasn't full enough to suit me. And they're still they still like a little bit. So I'm gonna give them a little while, and then I'm picking them, and then I'm eating them. I thought I'd do this little video. Let's put it 1176. Thanks for watching. Comment. Come back. We'll see you.